very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme to Leather. this is Salah speaking before we start I really need to share with you something very important um, let me share with you this message we have received from one member on 30 October he said uh, my friend here gentleman Salah I joined your signals because I like your videos but I am in loss three days in a row and he's saying that using the signals on the real account is difficult because of the multiple targets. Uh, my friend, I think uh, Angela have uh, explained to you how to trade using the multiple targets. Now, I really want to share with you this because on, this, on the very same day, we received not one, but more than 10 messages from the happy clients. This gentleman here also, on the same day, he said, it is my second account with the 3000 euros I invested 380 euros and I made seven almost 18 percent growth in that account and that is his picture from my FX book that's very interesting and if we see the other messages almost all of them October 30 all of them they are making profit and they are happy this gentleman here he made uh, 14 dollars profit on the same day uh, he made 40 dollars in, uh, in the same day also October 30 and this gentleman also he made 844 dollars in one week that's very nice good profits in one week actually uh 30 dollars in one day also october 30 notice the date so nothing wrong with the signals at all the signals are just perfect you just need some time to understand them and how to use them you will get used to it trust me this gentleman here also he made profits of 175 dollars also October 30 today look at that today meaning that is today's profit very nice um, Angela you made me cry today all my trades hit take profit trust me my friends once you understand these premium signals you will be able to join these happy members and you will be one of them you will be one of the happy clients who have joined uh, the signals and really understood them understood how to use them it might take some time a few days but eventually you will start making some profits and you will be one of these happy members who are sending these happy messages for us and actually that is what really makes me so happy and proud of Angela and myself as well so my friends please if you wish to join the premium signals don't hesitate to, con to contact Angela you can find her uh, telegram link in the description under this video contact her today so you will join us in the next uh, week signals hope to see you hope to see you there and thank you so let's go now to the main subject of the video and let's start with the weekly analysis and as usual let's start with the euro usd now we can see the euro usd has made the reversal very close to the point where i mentioned that it will reverse however it was actually a bullish reversal and the euro usd went almost i think almost 100 uh, pips right yeah almost 400 pips reversal now what about next week going to the weekly candles now we can see uh this bullish candle it's actually not gonna reverse at this resistance I don't think so because we can see this resistance has been breaking out so I can expect for the next candle that it will be also bullish candle and I think it has to go all the way until it reach this resistance or this resistance now saying that on the weekly candles let's go to the daily candles now what do we see here is another support level right here like that exactly now what I'm expecting for the euro is that it will actually make one final bounce uh, to hit this previous support here and then it's gonna continue its bullish momentum until it hit this resistance and then later it might actually if it has enough uh, strength it will jump all the way to hit the next resistance so we have right now take profit one and take profit two now let me tell you something that is of course on daily candles checking the four hour candles is telling us that if we apply the trend lines strategy or the understanding of trend lines we can see that the euro usd has already made the reversal from this resistance trend line and it has become already a support trend line so most likely because we are having this engulfing candle most likely uh, the euro usd will start monday opening to climb up immediately without going down to retest the level uh, if we want to be safe i suggest that we can start buying the euro usd right on i think this should be fine right on let me just uh, write it for you 
by on 1.114009. That should be actually the best level to start buying the EURUSD because eventually it will go up, I think, and we can expect for it to continue climbing all the way until it hit the resistance level uh, like that. So we can expect for it to go. If it will uh, go to our entry level, we can look at 72 pips, pips of profit or if it will start immediately, we can look for almost 47 pips of profit. So again, that is your signal for the euro USD. Prepare to buy it at the bounce. Let's check now the pound USD. The, the pound USD sadly did not move as they expected. It just made a, a big bounce right on the support level. So now what will, what will gonna happen? Uh, I think that the pound USD is now after creating the resistance number one here, now it's reversing on the resistance number two. So 90% the pound USD is going down. Now the question where it will go? I believe that we can at least make 140 pips profit from the pound USD because we can look for the bouncing here for this pullback. So just to be safe, I believe that we can uh, take the profits from the reversal on the pound USD. We can start shorting the pound USD immediately actually. Uh, it is on the perfect level to start selling and we can make our profit. Let me just tell you. right on this previous resistance right here like that because we are having here now what seems like a double top and when you have the double top look at that here you have this single attempt of a support number one so we can expect for the pound usd to go down all the way hit this previous resistance right here because it was actually a strong level as a resistance that cannot be ignored i believe the pound usd will go down to retest uh, again this broken level before it actually start climbing up again. So in general, uh, because there is a lot of pips on the pound USD, so we can start selling it immediately and close the trade if it hit the level 1.27106 and then st we can start buying the USD, but uh, that, uh, sorry, the pound USD. But that is all depend on the price action. I cannot give the buy uh, signal. Remember also that this is daily candles. So most likely, hopefully, um, this week, this upcoming week, uh, we will witness a few candles for the pound USD to fall down. Then the next week, we can uh, start giving the buy signal for the pound USD. All in all, I believe that it's, it is a really good idea to start shorting the, Euro, uh, the pound USD and keep it until the level 1.27106. Let's check now the AUD USD. AUD USD sadly did not reverse as i expected also and it actually made a small reversal but eventually it just continued to go more up uh, breaking out from that resistance on 0 0.68835 so after this breakout i believe that one it was on 30th october and we can expect i think it was because of the news i remember on 30 october there was some news that has affected the aud currency and eventually it broke from this resistance however I still don't think it will continue sp uh, bullish momentum. I believe AUD USD will eventually go down after this uh, unexpected movement. Now let me tell you ex uh, the reason. What we can see here, that we can see the resistance has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle. But look at this price action we had after that. As I told you, this was because of a news. This bullish candle, breakout candle. The two candles came after that are very very interesting because both of them are very good signals to start shorting and for start reversal of the market because when you see the market going up like that and you see two candles one of them look like that that is almost like a pin bar and the next one is uh, my favorite price action actually with a short uh, wick at the top and long tail at the bottom actually this is the one i trust the most when you see this on the, on the resistance, it means that we can expect now a, rever a bearish reversal on the level. So both of them actually appeared. That's a very good sign that we can start shorting the AUDUSD. However, still not the right time to start shorting. Because on the left side, we can see that there is only a support level. The strongest resistance is actually the key resistance level is right here. 
but I don't think the AUDUSD will continue rising all this way. I'm expecting for the AUDUSD to actually reverse right on this resistance right here. This level was a good resistance and here as well and it was also a support. We can see the market almost has breached this level. So I am hoping for another attempt for the AUDUSD on the same level here then we can hopefully start shorting the AUDUSD and it will fall down again. This breakout in my opinion is going to be a fake breakout because it was supported by the news and this price action indicating a bearish reversal I don't think the AUDUSD will uh, reverse at this point hopefully it uh, sorry I don't think it will continue its bullish momentum and hopefully it will reverse right on this resistance level what I mentioned let me just uh, write where we can start shorting the AUDUSD so we can sell on 0 0.69334 hopefully this is what will gonna happen and again if we want to uh, enter with uh, exit with the profit I believe we can expect for the AUDUSD to fall until this previous support right here so we can look for almost 152 pips of profit let's check now the USD CAD so the USD CAD has actually made this uh, bounce here went all the way up to this previous resistance right here let me just mark it for you this resistance and actually I'm looking at the left let me just show you I'm looking at the left right here and here it was also a strong support and yeah it was a strong level even here it was a resistance so the USD CAD has finally made the reversal right here however the USD CAD is actually right now is on a very strong resistance zone we can see uh, these attempts many attempts the market when it entered this zone is just trying to break out from it desperately let me actually increase this to show you look at that that is really interesting every time the USD CAD reaching this uh, resistance uh, the support zone it's just simply reverse and go more up it's not a, it's not able to break from it even when it's almost uh, about to break from this support level it's immediately reversing and continue to go more up and even here we can see it also reversing on this uh, support zone so this level is very strong and we can use that now the point the question is how do how do we use that okay let's prepare now to start buying the USD CAD uh, this is daily candles go to the four hour card, uh, chart now what we can see here is a very obvious be, uh, bullish breakout candle and the market is reversing uh, on this resistance after the resistance one and two we can see the market is reversing and heading down now the question is where should we start buying the USD CAD uh, if we look at the left look at this level of the support it's very strong level we can tell by seeing this uh, strong candle uh, this week here the market barely touched this level and immediately flying more up and also the, the very same level we can see the same happened as a resistance the market went, uh, reached this level and immediately reversed meaning this is the right level where we need to start buying the USD CAD so we can expect for it to go down to the level let's make it a buy on 1.31105 that should be a really good level to start buying the USD CAD and then so it will come like that then hopefully we will, it will break from this resistance and will continue climbing all the way until it reach this previous support right here so that should be enough for a signal and we can look for I think a lot of FIPS actually 1500 sorry <laughs> did I say thousand 155 pips of profit hopefully we will get them all and hopefully this is how the USD CAD is gonna move I just forgot to mention uh, when once you place your buy order on the level 1.31105 expect for the USD CAD to fall a little bit more down to this support level and then hopefully it will reverse uh, you have to prepare for that because it is possible it is possible that the USD CAD will actually go down uh, beyond this level to create a support number two of this previous support level because we can see also here we have a support so again expect for the USD CAD to fall like 30 pips against your direction
before it actually start climbing up now let's check the USD GPY USD GPY however seems to making some um, bearish momentum however I don't think it will continue the bearish momentum for a long time because we can see now we have a triple uh, bottom here one two three so I believe eventually uh, the general movement for the USD GPY is gonna go up but not now not at the moment uh, there is now we have a bearish reversal right on this resistance let me just delete that line and draw the other one so actually this is a good uh, place to start selling the USD GPY however I don't want to give a sell signal because in general general it's buy so we can look for buy actually once we see the USD GPY reach let me just be more accurate as much as possible and to be safe I would say here I would say on this level I would say on this by the USD GPY on 107.219 that should be actually a really good level to start buying the USD GPY now the reason is we can see is we are having here a strong support level here and there and the market eventually on daily candles was not able to break from the support level so since we can see now this bearish breakout candle from the support meaning this resistance level is gonna keep its position as a resistance and the USD GPY seems to be going down a little bit to hit this previous support and then we can start buying the USD GPY so all in all you can start actually not now not now wait a minute let me just be more accurate let me give you two signals for the USD GPY um, it actually already reached it this level yeah the market already reached this level so I believe it's gonna be safe to start selling the USD GPY until it reach the level 107.219 and then we can start longing the USD GPY and if this happen quickly we can start we can exit our trade until the level 110.542 we are talking about a lot of pips actually 333 pips no um, we can make it both uh, signal sorry I'm fixing my microphone hope the voice will be good now all right okay so uh, we can expect uh, to sell the USD GPY for almost 100 pips before it reach this buy level and then we can start buying the, the USD GPY as well and we can exit the trade right on the current level where it is right now let's uh, delete this target here and exactly that is what I'm talking about like that so hopefully it will be good signal and we are going to make some good profit from the USD GPY now let's check the USD CHF USD CHF is however still making some bounces on that resistance until now USD CHF still bouncing on the resistance level now this is daily candles let's check the weekly candles it's really all right so we can see it now ranging a lot actually um, I believe after all these attempts of the support eventually the market is gonna go down it's gonna go down to retest this previous support and then it will make another attempt to break from the resistance so what should we do to the USD CHF let me tell you actually it's really really ugly market when you see it ranging like that to be honest with you I just hate so much to give signal uh, on such market because it's just uh, so risky so USD CHF we can expect for it to go down to this previous support level right here because we can we can have here we can see that we have here a support and here as well um, let, let me just uh, take more look at it let me pause the video just to take another thought about this okay after some uh, thoughts about it I believe the USD CHF is gonna continue its bearish momentum and will fall down all the way to this level of 0 0.9746 and from there because we can see here we had the support level and here uh, and here as well most likely this is a support number one and most likely the USD CHF will attempt a, C, uh, a support number two on this level so 
I really don't want to give you a clear signal for the UCCHF. The reason is, it is now on a fourth attempt to break. No, actually, you know what? It is on the fifth attempt. One, two, three, four, and now five. You have to wait for the USDCHF to give you the signal on the opening market on Monday so we can actually start selling the USDCHF. If I should give the signal about it, I would suggest you to wait, to wait for the USDCHF to rise a little bit more up to hit this uh, candle again to make a final attempt and then it's going to continue falling more down. I don't think it's, it's going to go up. No, not after all these resistance attempts. Seems like the UCCHF is on a bearish momentum. The question is where should we start selling? Uh, and the answer is just to be safe. Let's go to the four hour chart. Uh, let me adjust the signal. I'm sorry for that. I know it's not good. I just need to be clear as much as possible. Yeah, I believe this should be a good place to start selling UCCHF. And let me just write it on zero. Uh, let me sell on 0 0.98762 hopefully that will be good level to start selling the UCCHF and keep your trade running until it had here this previous support so we can look for um, for almost 100 pips of profit 100 yeah, 100 pips of profit hopefully we are going to make them please be careful when you are trading the USDCAD because it's ranging a lot right now let's check now the gold my gold signal has actually worked immediately on the same day on Monday. I gave the signal to start selling the USD, uh, sorry, the gold on 1506 and exit the trade right on this level on 1495. Uh, the market already reached this level in one single candle. However, what is the next movement for the gold? Let's check now the daily candles. So on daily candles, we can see that on Friday, the market tried actually to break from this resistance level, but eventually it failed. And now it's giving the reverse hammer, indicating a strong bearish reversal. So again, uh, the gold is doesn't seem to be uh, going uh, be, uh, above this resistance, and I'm expecting it to start actually reversing. Now the question is, where should we start selling the gold? We can actually start selling the gold I'm just looking carefully right here um, on the level uh, 1000 cell on 1516 that should be actually really good level to start selling the gold hopefully there will be no breakout candle uh, or some unexpected news uh, from uh, Mr. Trump or anything uh, ga that can actually affect the dollar and therefore it's gonna affect the gold as well uh, from technical analysis we can start selling the gold on the level 1516 and we can expect uh, the reversal exactly on this level 1499 and we can look for almost 163 pips uh, profit from the gold hopefully we're going to get them all and hopefully uh, it will be a very profitable and good week to everyone i hope that was informative to you my friends and i wish uh, Sorry, I forgot the term. I hope that was informative to you, and I would like to thank you for watching.